All right, so now we we at the field with my dog right here. Tell the people who you are, bro. Thomas Nance. Class of what? 2019. This is a story of Thomas Nance the third. Thomas is one of the bravest people I've ever met. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Quiet. Quiet. That's a grown mother. After facing one of the worst kinds of adversity anyone could ever come across, Thomas looked the obstacle right in the face and overcame it. Oh! <laughs> If you're a regular to my channel, you know I always preach about destroying every obstacle. Keep destroying every single obstacle, y'all. So that's why I've decided to create this new series called Undefeated to highlight the incredible stories in which, in the face of defeat and doubt, others were able to overcome whatever obstacle stood in their way of success. I strongly believe in what I'm doing, like I said, and who are they to just, you know, rip me apart from my dream? Thomas Nance III is the perfect example of that. Now, with over 40 Division I offers and a commitment to play football at the University of South Florida, Thomas's journey definitely wasn't easy. This is the courageous story of Thomas Nance the Third. What's up, man? Oh, we didn't get it from mom. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Well, you got your own bar right here too. <laughs> it seems like you and Thomas got like a close relationship. I mean, not a lot of players would, you know, show up here early, get their hurt cut and stuff by the head coach. You know, little stuff like this how we bond with your players, man. We met. Right around April, so our, our relationship is pretty young, you know, relative. I didn't even know his story yet, to tell you the truth. But, you know, we, we grew in each other really quickly. You know, he's easy to love, he's easy to root for, you know, um, he, he does all the right things. And um, like I said, my love him like a son. So basically how we found out about you, we went to a film at Liberty. Yeah. And I see your big ass warming yeah. up. <laughs> I was like, man, this this dude look like he five. Drop the hammer. Hey, three in the game. That boy look like a grown man. But we noticed your back play. Yeah. And it was like RIP mom and dad. Mm -hmm. I really don't wait for myself, I wait for my teammates mostly. So like warm ups, whatever. Now I'm doing this for somebody, so you do it for others. Like, don't do it for yourself. I'd say one thing about Tommy, he doesn't use it as a crutch. It wasn't like, you know, oh my God, this happened, so my life is over. You know, it's like, it's like coach, this, you know, this is what this is what it is, this is what happened. Here I am. Don't treat me any differently. Don't uh, you know, I'm not looking for a handout, I'm not looking, you know, for anybody's sympathy, you know, I say I'm here. You know, and I got through this. If you could tell your dad and your mom, if you could say anything to them right now, like if they was here listening to you, bro, what would you say? I love you. That's it. I, I love my, I love them. How did, how did it happen? Like, what's the story? Um, I remember when I, I woke up, like, one day, I was, I was about five years old, I woke up, I, I saw my mom and dad. She was in the uh, living room with my family. I, I was looking, like, I'm five, I don't really know what's going on too much, so. And I didn't know what to think, like, I, like at five, like, I already know what, like, my dad, like, she told me my dad got in a car accident. And he just, he died, he just died right, like, right there. They up there looking down on you, bro. Yeah. You, you feel like they with you at all times? Yeah, all the time, all the time. I know they proud. Through everything, yeah, definitely. I know they're proud. They about to be at the games at USF. Yeah, yeah, of man. course. Yeah. And then my mom, she was going after that too. Like I had to live with my grandma. So like, like after, like when I was five years old, I moved in with my grandma. Cause my mom, she was like, not, not she at the house. Yeah, she wasn't. She wasn't at the house. Like she was going a lot. Like she wasn't really with us. It was just me and my sisters and my brother. And we was out of the house by ourselves. We had to go get food and stuff for ourselves. We had to get money for ourselves. Cause we, cause we ain't had no, no like parent at home at the house with us. How you felt like as a, I know you said like you didn't really know yeah, what was going on, but like how? how well, I knew I knew he was gone. I knew he was gone, but I was like I couldn't like I really didn't believe it. Like, I thought I'd see him another day, and I and I didn't. Then my mom eventually she she died of like sickness when I was about like uh, 11 to 12, and I barely seen him most of my life. So she was gone when I was five. It basically say the same time. So yeah, that's how that went about. And he actually uses it as power and inspiration to the locker room. Even to myself and my staff, you know, when times are rough, you're going through a rough season, you know, I was like, man, if this kid can lose both his folks at a young age, you know, I mean, you're gonna tell me any adversity that we're gonna go through is gonna come even close to that, you know, and like, like no, no kid can look, look to him and say, you know, uh, oh, I can't do this. Did that inspire anything? Did it like start yeah, a fire in yeah, your heart? Like, yeah. you, how successful have you been with football? Oh, uh, I felt like I've been, I, I felt like I, I should be even more successful, but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good right now. These scholarships start rolling in back out the bat, and I, that's a blessing, because the, the biggest thing for me was going like D1. Like, I used to just walk around saying D1, D1. D1, D1 bound. Yeah, yeah D1 bound, D1 bound, D1 bound. D1 bound. <laughs> exactly, right there, and then came to life. So that's, I felt great about that. You know, he has a way about him where he, he can, you know, turn on that, that charisma and that fun. Oh! <laughs> that funness about him and just, just makes, you know, this team and the staff gravitate towards him. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was gonna happen? <laughs> How did I see that shit happen? Uh, <laughs> <the head>. <laughs> <laughs> we first found out about Thomas and you know 
you guys' team when you guys played Liberty. We actually came out to shoot a video at Liberty. We first got there within five, ten minutes. Like they was like in y'all's face and stuff. What was what was that that whole beef and stuff about? We saw them at a camp, at an FCA camp over the summer. But the one evening that we had a worship service and afterwards we had like like little games like dodgeball games and I mean it was a mix of teams, but it, it was it was pretty heavily, you know, Lake Region team against the Liberty team and we knocked them out of the tournament. And they, they got a little butt hurt about that, you know, um, which they should, they're competitive kids. But then eventually, you know, some kid says something crosses the line. I, I don't know if we said something first or they said something first, but you know how kids are. Yeah, ain't no top of the week. Ain't no top of the week. Real man, we here. Yeah, Coach man, them boys, them boys started talking crazy before the game, we ain't he? Boys are like, y'all was about to start brawling before yeah, the game yeah. started. <laughs> Hell yeah, and there was this one play on the sideline. We oh caught that so perfect. There's this one play, I don't know if you just what took the hand off, ran towards the right. Yeah. Next thing you know, beat. They just smack yeah, you. Yeah, man. Them boys went in my head. So I got in the game, they were like, oh yeah, they go number three, they go number three. <laughs> they already knew what was up. I'll I I be talking that trash yeah. too. Oh, oh, so first thing I'm thinking like, dude, we can't have a fight here. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my kids, telling my kids take a knee. I had one kid, um, a kid in the team, which, which is like his, 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 his brother, you know, try to run across. I had to go grab him and bring him back, you know, because these kids don't realize you'll get a two hundred fifty dollar fine and six games. What, what, what did it feel like? What was going through your head when that, when that situation went by? I loved it. Was, it was competitive. It, was, it felt great. It was, like that's what I wanted. That's what I, that's what I needed in my last uh, high school game. If we go back to the clip, like everybody was just around you, yeah. your face just. No, I ain't. Even, I wasn't even worried about it. Like I see all my boys, come, all my teammates coming off the field too. Like everybody was on the field. Like I see all my boys running off the sideline. Like, they was about to. They was, they was done too. So I wasn't. <laughs> they really, was ready for that. Action. Yeah, I wasn't really stressing that. Like he, he, he feeds off of off of the adversity, off of energy, off of other people, you know, wanting to see him fail, you know, that just empowers him. So it, it was it was fun to see that. Yeah, you see you said you had them offers rolling back to back to back. Like what, what kind of how many offers you got? I probably got about a good thirty plus right now. I'm committed to USF. I signed early, so yeah, I'm, I'm locked in on them but about to be a bull. yeah bull uh, the rivalry yeah, I went you know. to UCF, you know I don't fuck with them. Yeah yeah <laughs> but uh USL, Washington State, uh Illinois, Indiana UF, um, a lot, of, a lot more schools like that. If if you didn't pick USF, who would you go to? I don't want to say. I don't want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Probably one of the most impressive things about Tommy is is he came here as as an offensive player. You know, he, he like ranked I think probably like like 30th or 35th, you know, tight end in the nation. But you know, I know his his end goal is to get to the league. So I said, Tommy, I was like, listen, it, it could be a big payday for you in a long career in the league. You know, if, if you try defense. You know, once he got that, then the bigger offers started rolling in. Um, he got Duke, you know, Washington State, Indiana, Illinois. You know, Florida came in late as well. What kind of encouragement? And worse because we got a lot of young folks watching that you know kind of maybe want to follow in your footsteps go d1 you know and, and chase the dream of yeah. playing in the league uh what kind of words would you have for them i know it sounds cliche but place. but like never give up like that's 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 real like even when you think you can't do it or you might not be able to do it but just keep trying it and you'll get it done like you might not be doing it like that time in like at that time and moment but you'll get it done you got you got a good work ethic i mean you yeah you, yeah you yeah. got to work out we got to get this little field work yeah out. This man got some fast feet, yo. He got some quickness on him. He big and shit, but he not just straight muscle head. He got some movement on him. How fast you run a 40, bro? Oh, uh, about a full six. Receiver, tight end, DN, kick, kicker. <laughs> What's like your max bench? Max bench score? Uh, right now I'm at 375. Bench? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that 
I'll be, I'll be fine. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> 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 This man about to catch a fat L. I ain't even good in bowling, but I just feel confident in myself. Why he brought us to a bowling alley, bro? Hey, bro. Why I ain't even getting a warm up. Why he brought us to a bowling alley, bro? But I ain't getting a warm up, though. Wait, listen. How about I get somebody both for me? I don't even gotta look. I don't even gotta look! <laughs> you got another go. You got another go. You played me, goals. bro. I oh, there's one up? You played me, bro. Oh, I thought it all went oh, down. He played me. He's like, I thought it all went down. <laughs> hey, bro, pressure's on, baby. What pressure? Go ahead and gutter this for me right quick. Yeah, I'll, Come on. I'll, I'll feel pressure. <laughs> I don't feel no pressure. Got my way. Doodle, no. I'm here. Doodle. Oh, high pressure, dog. <laughs> uh oh, this pin is literally 123, 123. Hey, this is for the game. They're on, tied. Bro. You gotta hold, hold on. on the pressure. Come you gonna fold, bro? Don't he's fold on the pressure. he's not on, hit bro. a single Let's pin. That little. Let's get it. It's not gonna work. It's all about the flick of the wrist. It's not gonna work. Pressure, pressure burst pipe. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You light up? <laughs> shout out to Shorty, man. Hey, man. Shout out my dog Thomas, though. Real deal. What well, been great since he came in high school, man. He called it, though. 40 offers by, by senior. 4.0 GPA. No, nah, he did that. You feel me? What well, gonna be great? All right, man. So we, we spent a good day at the bowling alley. My dog can't bowl, obviously. Bro, he had to pull in recruits and whatnot. When the camera went off, I was balling though. Yeah, hey, I was balling. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Go go he was half balling, but hey, bro, I appreciate it. No spending problem. time with you, bro. Best of luck at USA, yes, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. He just ball, man. I got you. Them horns up, ball yeah. out. Go Bulls, go Bulls. Hey, shout out to your Instagram, bro. Oh, uh, at Thomas underscore Nance. At Bonds underscore five. B O N D S underscore five. Hey, Instagram. Uh, I'm D1. Uh, academic, 4.5 GPA. At Big Thomas. Twitter. Follow it. Brr. 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 Brr.